Welcome to another edition of Boxing Ayarete. So just woke up this morning, um, doing a quick little quick little video for these uh, few articles here. Um, Canelo and Colofa neg negotiations clear huddle today. So um, according to Chris Mannix from Sports Illustrated, um, there was a big hurdle on Wednesday that helped the fight get past the finish line, according to, like I said, Chris Mannix. So, um, I guess the uh, big hurdle was crossed by today. I guess the negotiations are going well for the fight. Um, basically, um, the article kind of states that the, I guess the issue was, you know, the, the figures. But basically what they're saying now is uh, uh, financial package for Kovalev side is eight figures per, source, per source with more with both main events and co-promoter top rent taking their cut. So, um, it seems like, uh, Kolovka got, you know, the payday that he wanted, um, you know, um, I guess negotiations went well, at least for his part of the, uh, for his side of everything, he got what he wanted, um, so guys, I guess it's official, I guess the fight's probably gonna get made, uh, for early December, probably late no November, um, I'm personally not really looking forward to this, um, looking forward to seeing the contract though because um i am wondering if canelo made him get a catch weight or if there's going to be a hydration clause or something like among the lines of that because you know it is canelo we're talking about so you know he always has something up his sleeve well not really him it's you know golden boy promotions that they take care of canelo so um i'm gonna leave it at that with this uh please leave me your uh your comments, um, sh uh, share the video, let me know your thoughts on this. What do you guys think? You think if Canelo uh, is going to make Kolov get a hydration clause or maybe even a catch weight? Um, hit the like button. Um, please subscribe. Hit the bell icon. Um, like I said, let's keep this fucking world, uh, boxing worldwide moving, moving. And peace. <laughs>